What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're returning subscribers as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, uh, about a few days ago, <clears throat> out here in Houston, Texas, in the Acres Home area, Community of Faith Church, which is resided over by Pastor Dr. James Dixon, was robbed. I guess in the middle of the night, thieves came in. Two men stole the church safe, had some valuables in it, and a lot of stuff that was beneficial and essential for the church. Now, I'm going to play this press clipping, a little video clip. And when I come back, I just want to talk about how like criminals have no shame now. How are you going to rob the house of the Lord? Check this out. Tonight, a well-known Houston pastor and civil rights activist is asking for help, identifying two burglars who made off with some of the church's cash. Yeah, the break-in happening last Friday at Bishop James Dixon's Community of Faith Church in Acres Homes. But Dixon is sharing the surveillance video with us tonight. Matt Doherty at HPD headquarters downtown with the story. Matt? It appears the thieves knew what they were after. They were in and out of the church with the safe in minutes. We exist to make a difference, make an impact. We, we, we help the homeless, we feed the hungry here every week uh, by the hundreds and thousands. Uh, and so everything that we receive, we need. James Dixon will be saying a prayer tonight for the men you see in these surveillance videos. We're praying for the individuals to repent, uh, turn themselves in. In the early morning hours of Friday morning, Bishop Dixon says these two men caught on security cameras broke into the community of Faith Church in Acres Homes. They appear to know where they're going and what they're after. A short time after entering the building, they emerged with a rolling cart. Inside is the church's safe. With some cash in it and some very important documents uh, as well. Bishop Dixon won't say how much money was stolen, only saying that every dollar lost is a dollar less the church can spend for its ministries. The, the money that we could be using to feed the hungry, help the poor, and help children get ready to go back to school who had, uh, you know, disadvantaged, uh, now we've got to spend those funds upgrading security systems uh, and into the thousands of dollars to make that happen. Although he doesn't recognize the men in the videos, he says somebody does. Someone knows them. It's someone's son, brother, uncle, a co-worker, next door neighbor, a friend. Tonight, he's asking for those who know them to come forward. But for individuals to do this to anyone's house uh, and certainly not into God's house, to a church, uh, those individuals uh, should be held accountable and we don't need those kind of people on the streets. In downtown, Right, so that was the uh, video clip. And um, even though I don't go to church, a lot of people do. A lot of my subscribers uh, leave comments. I can tell a lot of you go to church or, you know, deal with the Bible extensively. Of course, in your comments. This right here is messed up. It is. This uh, gentleman here, Pastor James Dixon, is active in the community. He does a lot of stuff with the homeless, with children. He's in the civil rights. You know, he's a leader. For people to come in there and do that, it makes no sense. I mean, this is supposed to be the house of the Lord. And here's some two, they're like two Hispanic dudes, because that's like it was a predominantly black church. For them to come in there and do that, no respect. No respect. I mean, just as people, these people are filth to do that. Now, you don't know what that money was used for, but the bottom line is somebody has to make up for those funds that was lost. A lot of times criminals out here, they take money like it's going to just appear in thin air. And it's no harm done with them doing it. How many times you've seen uh, people rob banks or people victimize somebody the police run down on them they immediately oh you got me you got me you got me oh, i'm down i'm down is that easy i ain't lying man stuff like this that's just i mean this is pure disrespect i mean i know everybody in that church and it affects everybody in church everybody that paid tithes or paid towards some type of goal of them trying to do something with the money that was stored in the safe was robbed 
And honestly, I hope the cops don't catch them. I hope everybody in that church find out who they are and take turns getting that ass in the name of the Lord. Because stuff like this should not be tolerated. It takes a certain type of person to say, you know what? F you. F what you believe in. I.e. your religion. And. Screw God. And. That, that's the wrong way to go about it. That's the wrong way to go about it. See, but I'm going to tell you something. Nowadays, just looking at the way the crimes are getting more and more sickening and just the lawlessness we're dealing with out here in the world now where people just don't give a F. This right here is nothing new. I mean, churches have been robbed before, but for you to bust in there Knowing it's some type of alarm system and surveillance. Few minutes, you got your little wagon, probably found it there, and just walk out with a safe and go down the street like you don't think nothing's gonna happen to you. Seriously, no mask on their face or nothing. And I'm gonna tell you something about Houston. Houston has a large uh, Hispanic population or Latino population. They commit crimes with no mask on. It's very rarely they get caught. But let me tell you, a lot of times out here, a lot of people will go, like a lot of different social classes or races, they'll go to all the way across town, do a crime, and then go back across where they at. You'll never see them again, never come across them again. This happened to me before when I was out here, you know? And it's like, I learned that later on. I'm like, okay, this is what they do. Houston is so spread out and big that people that go commit a crime somewhere far away and shoot back to where they at by the time the police get to investigating this stuff and they're going to come out there's a big room with full of files of crimes that was committed by people that will never get caught and they know this I remember when, uh, I was jumped and robbed it took like six hours for the police to get there I had to miss work and everything by that time I done cooled off and the guy said what were they? I said, uh, he was Hispanic. They was Hispanic. He would say, good luck. The cop told me, good luck. Here's my card. Call me if you see him. What you going to do? But I mean, this is messed up. You know, a lot of people, churches where people go to get hope and, you know, get their lives in order. And here's something come to cause disorder. Shameful. Shameful. I hope they do get caught, though. I mean, it's very slim and nothing. Then it's like, when he was speaking about the contents of the safe and he said it was important papers and stuff, I think he cares more about the papers than the money. Honestly, because a lot of documents bring money or have more value than the paper that uh, money's printed on a lot of times. Could have been deeds, could have been important things that were signed for the de development of the church, anything. This right here wrecks creation. I'm totally against it. What say you, though? I just wanted to bring this up, man. And that's like, you know, they went into Acres Home, man. Acres Home ain't no uh, easy lay. They real out there. Shout out Acres Home. But, um, man, leave me a comment, man. Leave me a comment. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. This is messed up for them to do this. I mean, no disregard for, hey, people worship here. You know, this is God's house. Just nothing. Ah, we'll run up in there like we'll run up in any other place. And honestly, you can't even say this is drug related. Like they was drug addicts or nothing. Because I mean, the way crimes are now, people just doing what they feel like doing. A lot of these people do this just to get clout. Yo, remember that time we robbed the church? Oh, y'all robbed the church? Yeah, we robbed the church. You know, people are stupid nowadays. That's neither here nor there. I'm out.